What's up everyone, it's Michael Fight, and Zer is back for another week. This time Zer came back to the reef. Now this is cool because the last time Zer was in the reef, he had some good stuff for us. Let's go ahead and see if this is the case as well. So first off, let's go ahead and see what we got. So for the Titan, he's got the no backup plans. Now the no backup plans come with a few cool perks. The special weapon reloader, so everything kind of goes pretty fast for that one. Uh, rain blows, which is the most absurd name for a perk, but increased melee attack speed and improved disintegration. So increase the duration of force barrier. So when you're running defender, this is good after you do a, a melee, it's going to give you that extra boost of, uh, of a barrier for you. Now the thing on these ones is that they have nothing but strength, which you want because it's uh, increased melee attack speed and increased force barrier, which is a melee attack. So you want that extra strength on that so you get your melees a lot faster. Uh, next up, it has the Knucklehead Radar. So the Knucklehead Radar is a Hunter Helm, um, Light of the Blade, causing damage with a grenade reduces your melee cooldown, so this is always a cool one. Um, inverse Shadow, increased super energy gained from killing million, minions of the darkness, so good for Hive. Um, and then there's this one, the Sensor Pack. Radar remains visible while aiming primary weapons. This is actually a really cool perk, and there's some other really cool weapons like Fang of Irut and uh, others that have this perk built into the weapon. So if you aren't running one of those weapons that have that, this this is neat. I'm, I'm actually a fan of this one. I don't know when this really comes in insanely handy, uh, but it's nice. But again, it is all strength, so it's basically for melee. So uh, if you are into meleeing, this could be a good helmet to pick up. Personally, this is not my go-to hunter helmet. Uh, for the most part, I actually am running hunter gauntlets instead. Uh, but if this is the sort of thing you're into, snag it. And again, if you don't have it, pick it up. You never know when it'll come in handy. All right, next up for Warlocks, we have the Claws of Ahamkara. So it has that special weapon reloader, all your special weapons load faster, snap discharge, increase melee attack speed, and then just like those Titan uh, gloves we just looked at, gain an additional charge for all Warlock charged melees. So this works for both. So not only is this going to give you an additional Scorch, but it's also going to give you an additional uh, Void, and then coming soon, additional Arc. Personally, I say pick these up because I think they're going to be really good for your next, uh, for the next perk, that arc perk, because when uh, um, Warlocks get that new perk, that arc one, it has, it has a lot more range to it, and I think that their melee attack is going to get pretty damn good. So I say they're horrible right now, but they're going to get better. These ones come with uh, strength, a low amount of strength, which isn't bad, and they also come with discipline, so that's cool too. So you're going to get a little more uh, grenade charging ability in this one as well. So I definitely say pick these up. Now, something to know, all of these were light level 36, so you are going to have to spend some time grinding them up. Now let's move on to the weapon. Suros Regime. This is a standard in terms of exotic auto rifles. If you do not have this, get it. The two big perks about this one is the bottom half of each magazine uh, deals additional damage and that focused fire. Focused fire means the weapon will fire slower but causes additional damage. Um, and then Cirrus Regime. Bottom half, uh, bottom half deals bonus damage and has a chance to return health when dealing damage. This is a really cool perk in many different facets. So not only is it cool in PvE, uh, but it's also cool in PvP. That's a nice one, especially to counter those thorns, uh, just to kind of gain some extra health while they're shooting you, you shoot them. Maybe you gain some health back and it's not such a big deal. Now, one thing to know of the auto rifles, the impact on this one is pretty nice. Most auto rifles, the impact is basically pea shooter, high rate of fire, low impact. The impact on this is actually pretty nice. Range is nice on this. Stability and reload is pretty nice. Plus, when you add in those additional perks, so you have smart drift control that gives you crazy high stability. Hammer Forge to increase the range, or even the lightweight to give you a little bit of extra speed boost while you're running it. Um, personally, I, I prefer the Hammer Forged and the Smart Drift Control, um, just because I like that additional range and I like the ability to uh, uh, have a very stable um, gun, especially when you're, you're aiming a lot of bullets in one place very fast. So aside from that, he has his usual of exotic shards, 
and Helmet Ingrams. So guys, definitely I would say if you do not have Cyrus Regime, that is the thing you need to buy this week because it is a very, very good weapon. And after Weapons 2.0, it's going to be fantastic. Hey, if you're asking yourself, what is Weapons 2.0? I have a video that kind of briefly explains Weapons 2.0 and what that means for weapons like Cyrus Regime, so definitely check that out as well. And of course, rate, comment, subscribe on this one, share it with your friends, tell your mom if she's into, uh, if she's into Destiny. And that's all for me, folks. Guys, I love you, I hope you enjoy this video, and I hope you enjoy your time shooting people with Cyrus Regime. I will catch you later, and don't forget to check me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Michael Fight. Goodbye.